Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This time we will have a look on uh, uh, one of the ways to align an image to a 3D model and uh, in this case we will have a look at the mutual information filter. So suppose you have a three-dimensional model and you want to align an image that you import and on which you don't have any information about the shot uh, to this particular three-dimensional model. So first of all you need to import an image like for example this one and okay so the idea is that you have to find the shot to assign to this image so that the model is perfectly aligned to the image first of all first of all we put ourselves in the point of view of the image that we want to align okay. usually you won't be able to see anything even if you change the transparency this is simply because when you open an image and you don't have any information about the shot uh, um, an initial shot is assigned to the model and usually this shot uh, doesn't make you see any model but uh, the, the most straightforward thing to do is to click Ctrl H to reset the position of the model so you, that you have a nice starting point of view okay so how does the mutual information filter work well essentially uh, the idea is you have, you have to put the model uh, more or less in an aligned position with respect to the image like for example this one you see here that you can do much better but uh, this could be already a uh, nice starting point and then when you want to find the, the best alignment you need to call for the filter which is in a camera image alignment mutual information okay so here you have a uh, simple filter the filter is quite easy to be used so first of all you have to set an initial position for the alignment and then we will use the mutual information which is a statistic approach for the alignment and uh, the basic usage of this filter is that first of all you have to click on get shot get shot simply takes the point of view that you so set with the by moving the model as a starting point of view so first of all I click on get shot and then you have to click apply after that you will see that the model starts automatically moving and trying to find the best alignment of the model with respect to the image so I will click on apply and you see that uh, this is the first mo movement then the, the model has just uh, really trying it's been trying to find the best alignment with respect uh, to the image and uh, the result is already quite good you can see it by having a look at the transparency although it's not st still perfect so every time that you launch this um, filter uh, the, the algorithm tries to converge to the best solution so it could be possible that you need to apply it several times in order to to get to the best alignment so you can decide for example to start from this point of view to launch again the, the registration algorithm or you can try for example to help a bit the, the, the algorithm by setting a better starting point of view it's already it's still very important before launching the filter to click on get shot so you have to acquire the current point of view so get shot and apply and you see that uh, uh, the second uh, uh, convergence of the algorithm was much better and we already got to a very good position it's important to say that at the end of the each uh, uh, um, application of the filter the raster that has been found for this image is automatically assigned to the image okay so if you save the project and you load it again you will find this point of view okay so I'll try to make it with uh, another image so I try I can load another point of view so you see that uh, this is the, the first image this is the second one again control H I need to set an initial point of view when you try to align an image to a 3D model, uh, one of the most tricky parts to be uh, estimated is the focal length, which is one of the parameters that has to be aligned, that has to be estimated to find the alignment. Actually, when you load an image, uh, MeshLab tries to uh, have a look at the metadata of the images in order to try to infer the focal length. As a matter of fact, uh, when you load the filter, you see that there is uh, this uh, uh, option which is called estimate focal length which is not selected and at the same time you see that the field of view which is a way to um, to visualize the focal length of a, of, a, of a camera has been set to a particular value this is because 
this image has had the exif information so uh, it was retrieved so if you have the the exif file read and the uh, field of view already found from the image my um, uh, advice is to try to make the alignment without estimating the focal length but if the image doesn't have uh, an exif uh, information like the png images that, that don't have them uh, you will have to estimate that and in order to estimate that you can uh, you have to select the estimate focal length so focal length option again one of the advices is to try first of all to find an alignment which is almost uh, okay and then after that trying start trying to estimate the focal length because the focal length is a tricky parameter and it's better to be near to the best solution so let's try for example in this way I don't know if it will work I will try with a starting point of view which is quite far from the right uh, uh, final solution and let's see if uh, the, the algorithm is uh, still able to converge to the best okay so this is the first and it works quite well I apply it uh, a second time and I get a better alignment. I can even try, for example, from this point to estimate a bit also the focal length to see if it improves a bit. And you see that I got a nice alignment. So I was able to align two images in a very easy way. Uh, a couple of uh, um, final remarks on motor information. So the final result depends quite strongly on the initial position of the model. So the better you position the object uh, for the alignment, the, the more fast, the faster will be the convergence. But at the same time, don't spend really a lot of time in, in, uh, in the, um, finding the initial position because the motor information is usually able to converge to the best result. Another important remark is that the motor information is a statistical method. So if it converges to the best solution, okay, but it could be that uh, it uh, couldn't work because the, the, the value of the motor information, which is uh, the best for the algorithm, doesn't uh, correspond to the alignment of the image. Clearly, you can, uh, if you are interested, you can uh, uh, take as a reference the, the, uh, the paper, which is uh, here, and it explains everything about the motor information approach. So if the motor information doesn't converge, Unfortunately, you cannot do anything with, about that. So you can you have to align the image mutual in a, in a completely auto manual way, or otherwise find the other uh, systems. But this is this was only a basic usage tutorial for motor information. So if you use motor information for the alignment of images to 3D models, please, and you use it for any kind of application, the best thing to help us uh, is to cite the paper uh, that is related to motor information. Okay, so this is a very short tutorial. Uh, the best thing that you can do is to try starting with uh, your models and your uh, images. And uh, at the beginning, it could be a bit tricky to position the model in the right, uh, in a, in a semi okay point of view, point, starting point for the motor information. But uh, uh, when you get more experienced, it will become quite easy. Okay, thanks and uh, have fun with the motor information.